What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today, I'm taking a look at this video here. It's 18 minutes long. It's by uh, my old friend Kai. And um, I kind of came across it when I went to my YouTube studio. When I went to my YouTube studio, I um, looked at uh, comments. And when I looked at comments, I looked at mentions. And I seen this video. And it said, uh, African Fanboy 32, James E. Life. I'm going to see exactly what he says, because in the beginning here, he put some text there, and he said some uh, interesting things. Um, I don't know where this is going, but I'm going to take a look for myself and see. Uh, my girlfriend's over here. You want to come say hi? Okay, she's not ready for that yet. So let's take a look here. Let's see what we're getting ourselves into. Uh, I don't think anything ever really bad has happened between me and Kai, so let's see where this is going. This video is not a hateful act towards someone, but is hoping for someone to improve in the long run. Okay. I also don't plan for this video to be huge. Got it. Alrighty. Okay. Let's get this over with. There he is. I haven't seen hey, Kai Jamie. yet. Hi. Do you recognize this profile picture? I remember you, Kai Goes Off. Or not Kai Goes Off, but uh, I remember you, Those who don't know me. I, in the online world, am African Fanboy 32. And you've been in a few live streams. My real name is Axe Malachi. Mm-hmm. Why am I sitting down in this camera telling a YouTuber do you recognize this Spotify picture? I remember you. Hey, Jamie. Hello. You have dominated the MRP and Fiction storylines. You was... I, it, I kind of like on YouTube got a lot of the MLP horror AU stuff started because back in December before it turned into uh, 2024, I um was going to like make a video on an AU video and I kind of just did because I was bored and I was pretty soon going to give up on YouTube and it kind of blew up my channel. And uh, I just started making a lot of AUs. A lot of people really liked them. The black tree virus that he's showing on screen right now is my most popular video. So That's the reason why everyone wanted yeah, to my see little worms because you were a commentator. Cookie virus, yeah. You read the stories. Yep. You read everything. Yep. Quite long. Ah, Scootaloo, man. God damn! <laughs> Jesus. All sides with MIP infection that was dominating as well. Thank there you. have been so many videos of ponies getting a virus from artists. Basically. Either been to the good or to the bad. Yeah. And you were always there on YouTube for people to watch without yes. TikTok reasons. Indeed. And it's amazing because it shows that you're trying something out for the first time. Yep. Alongside making those videos... You also done a live stream for the first time. Yep. And everybody has kept asking you to do a Discord. And you did. You didn't even know how to do a Discord. I really didn't. So you came back and was like, yes, I'm going to make a Discord. With and I did. the friends to help me. Uh, basically, when a b I, I did a live stream, a bunch of people were practically begging me to make a Discord server. And I had no idea really how to use Discord like that. So I got my buddy Red Griffin to help me, and then Ina came along, Pippi, and a bunch of others, and we kind of just started the Discord server. Unfortunately, Pippi left. Uh, they're working on their mental health, and there's still a bunch of people that work on it. It's just like, um, I didn't know what I was doing, and a lot of people really wanted it, so I said, okay, I'm going to find a way to do it, and I did it. So he's right about that. See, there it is, right there. Ina posted it, Ven Ina. Yep. Discord GG slash James does stuff. Click that right there. It's one of my live streams. Or there's another link underneath it that she posted. Click mm -hmm. it if you want to be in the server. Yep. And that's where you joined the began. Okay. The first, I think, live stream you done in your Discord was, if I get a, if I laugh, I get a hit. <laughs> it was yeah. videos. Um, was that the, if I laugh, I get a hit? Or was that a shot? Because wasn't that like a stream I did where like every time someone on the Discord server made me laugh, I had to like take a shot of like Pirate Bay. I think that's what it was, but I don't remember. I've seen, and funny videos I've seen, um, even people that makes horrible jokes, even yeah. bad jokes, or mm -hmm. even normal jokes, and you would get hit because of that. Basically, um, 
I love dark humor. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea. I don't try to shove it down people's throats. I don't try to like make people uncomfortable with it. But when people tell me a dark humor joke and I think it's funny, I'm going to laugh. It's not that I'm really like agreeing with everything that's said. It's just like I laugh at everything. I think a lot of stuff is funny. I think there are some things that cross the line, but um, yeah, I do think it's funny. Let's see what we're getting into here. I'm so scared. There it is. I'm gonna make myself disappear. Oh my God, Goku. I'm already gone. Right, wait, hold up. Oh. Here we go. I'm in my cell disappear. Three, two, one. Now I'm gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You did no that. Way, you no did way, that. <laughs> you actually did oh, that, bro. Yeah. But then you would also, after doing that, drink Sprite. <laughs> well, yeah, because alcohol tastes like garbage. Beautiful. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. I had my. What's. Other people are weirded out about that, but it's just for the fun of it. Why is that weird? <laughs> that was ever your first live stream to get started with your Discord server. Mm -hmm. And I think at one of those times, that's when I joined as well. Yes, I believe that's around that time. It was a bit different way than I expected. I have not joined or had any experience or um communications with anyone for over 15 years. Damn. And for that server that you made. It brought me into a different reality. <laughs> Look at the admins. You know the admins all have do not disturb on that fighting crazy bro. They have uh the admins had their um thing as do not disturb because they didn't want to constantly be bothered a lot. They didn't want to like or it's not that they didn't want to be bothered. They didn't want to be overwhelmed. I, I, I at least that's my thought process on it, but I'm not sure. Can you stop with the fucking? I tried putting non <laughs> spam. Is that? I have a question for uh, Zab. Um. Oh no. That was actually really funny. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um... I point at I point at Ghostbear, with my very long finger. Ooh, ooh okay, don't don't freak him out now. <laughs> I gotten into talking to more folks that I've never talked to in my life. Yeah. People that I've never even known about. People that I didn't even understand about. It was. For the first time, speaking English as well too. I couldn't even unmute my microphone because of how scared I was. Even if there was another person that was just one in the okay. car. I was terrified to even start a journey and talk in the general chats too. But here we are. I did all of that and it got me to where I'm sitting in now. Because of your server, Jamie, I learned a lot from people and from my experience. Because I've done a lot more than I never thought I would ever do. I got in so much better with what I was doing in my life because okay. of your server that I done advising. That's one of my favorite jobs. Hell yeah, man. I was the main reason why people loved me because of the Vince chat that you put in. I helped a lot of folks, a lot of people that I never even knew about, and they supported me along the way as well for being that way, you know? Just not because of me being an advisor, but just also because I wanted to start video games, for example. Even, so, even some videos that is even more funnier than I ever would have imagined. Like this one, for example, that I streamed to the whole audience in your server. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? Uh-oh. Oh! Oh! What the fuck Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the fuck is that? What is this that? Is the fun, what bro. is that? What is that? What is that? Can you even believe how that's even more crazier than expected? There has also been a lot more other people, like 10 other folks, that just decided to sit down and watch me play and scream at the top of my lungs. And they loved you for it, man. I could never imagine that. Plus, people like me because I scream a lot, wage a lot, and also am vising. Yeah. It's also because I'm smart too in some ways of yeah. aspects, and I also talk a lot because I actually have a good m manner, good yeah. attitude. And also you do. practice, not only, not to forget, mutuality. 
the reason why I did spoke a lot was because I was not used to the server at time. And again, I'm still not used to talking to people and experiencing conversations and communication. Okay. Since when people are silent, I talk a lot more than usual. So it's kind of hard for me to distinguish for them to talk and for me to talk since there was not much of an attitude going on around there. Mm -hmm. Neutrality has brought me a lot of ways. Uh, with disputing a lot of drama, disputing with a lot of people that yeah. I've known about. Even in the mods, even in the mod sections, I will always try my best to see what's been happening. Yeah. That it's going to be okay, nevertheless. Okay. So, exactly how is everything going so far? And even that too, I mean, I would never imagine that to even be my well. I never asked for trial mod, but people wanted me to be trial mod. Okay. They were warning for that to happen. And, and I happened. wasn't allowed to because my age. But I think it was scrapped for me. I got selected as trial mod, even at 15 years old. And I was happy because that was a journey to make to help the people in the server that I love. And I was happy about that. Because it was a new thing to start with. A new thing to ban people, kick people, and also help people at the same time if yeah. they ever had issues. And it's going to be okay, nevertheless, what happens? Mm -hmm. What happened? Alright, Jamie. One of the things that you and I have seen is your videos slowing down a bit. The live stream slowing down a bit. And also your community posts are slowing down a bit. You came from making, if I laugh, I get a hit, to making less videos about vibing or promoting your music. Which is okay at least, but it hasn't, it wasn't the way that we would expect it to be. I mean, I don't really see how that's an issue. Basically, I slowed down. Because everybody in my live streams, everybody on my videos, whenever I posted updates about my life and how I was doing, people practically told me, like, you need to take a break. You need to take a break. And I, I just gave in. I just I just wanted a break. So I kind of slowed down. That's why I want to speed up. I want to make more content. I want to try to get back into it. I just wanted some time. So I, I, I don't really see how that's really much of a problem. But uh, it, I don't know. At all. You've also mentioned to be making another server. Um, but that server has not even been made. And that is incorrect information, my friend. It was indeed made. It's just not very public right now. I haven't really had a lot of time to, like, focus on the other server. And same for, like, all the admins and mods and this and that. So the server's made. It's just uh, it hasn't been worked on in a minute. It was also opened up at the wrong time too. It was also um, been. It was also not the way that it was supposed to be at the same time. Yeah. But even as you wanted it, you would also gonna allow a member that was thirteen to join the sixteen. Also, I was told he was thirteen. That's what he told me. I thought he was fifteen, so he's nowhere near fifteen. I said no, he's thirteen. Okay, so you're talking about Timmy. Basically, the new server was called Worms After Dark, and it was meant to be more, it's supposed to have more dark humor, it's meant to have more open freedom to talk, it's not meant to have like 18 plus stuff in it, it's not meant to have anything like that, it was just meant to be a more mature server, and I was talking to Timmy, and Timmy was like begging me, he was like, hey, can I be a part of it, I love dark humor, and Timmy has sent me some dark humor stuff for before, some very humorous stuff. And some of it was funny, but some of it was like, that's a lot, dude. And it's like, he he really wanted to be a part of it, and I was trying to be a little too nice. And I agree, he should be 16, but at the time, I was just trying to be really nice to him. And I, I should have thought about that, but Timmy is cool. Timmy is cool. For server, which that would have not been allowed. That would have not been the case. And it would absolutely cause a lot of problems. Also, this is, like, kind of old news, man. Like, that kind of passed along. Like, the new server isn't really being talked about anymore. 
and I still do live streams and I still like communicate with Timmy, but, um, it was just like a kind of thing that happened where I wanted to be nice because he said he liked dark humor. He said he loved dark humor and he really wanted to be a part of it. And it's like, he was ba basically like begging me, like he really wanted to be a part of it. And I didn't want to be mean, so I tried to give it a shot to, like, let him in. But I kind of realized in the end it just really wouldn't work out. Like, all the admins and mods were basically telling me, no, that's a bad idea. And I was like, yeah, okay. And the whole situation was dropped. And that's why everyone was attacking you at that point. At the point of this, too, you have also made a lot of videos to, uh, discussing about how your mental state has gone bad. It is how bad. How vaping sucks. Wait, it does. also sucks for you. And... You don't want the lifestyle you want it to be at all because no. you w worked at FedEx, you quit FedEx, you are, are getting paid by the government as I'm still known about that, and mm -hmm. you don't have a license. Not yet. I'm 16 years old, have a license, and you're 23 or 25 years old, don't have one. So are you saying that like it's a bad thing because you're making it out to be like it's a bad thing, I don't got my license, and you're saying you got a license at 16. Uh, I have really bad anxiety and my vision's really bad. And my glasses don't exactly work much, so that's not really much of a flex. I have issues why I cannot drive at the moment. So I, I'm, once again, not really seeing a problem here, and I'm not really seeing it as a bad thing that I don't have my license. It's not a legality that I have to get my license when I turn 16. I've been through a lot of things, and I've had a lot of issues. And it's like... Dude, I'm not really seeing a problem why you're bringing up why I don't have my license. It's like you're trying to come at me for that, and it's like, why, dude? Well, tactically, I'm getting it in about a month or so. Okay. But why is that? I don't know. But I just said that. I have really bad vision issues. Basically, my peripheral vision basically doesn't work. And that would make it really difficult. And plus, my anxiety is really, really bad. So I can't drive at the moment. But I just said that, but okay. If you ever wanted to figure out your own self how to make sure to get everything situated, figure that. Figure out that. I mean, I have, but okay. Another thing to also mention is sometimes your live streams would be bad. They would. That would be a long, a long time ago. There would have been mm -hmm. a live stream where, because you were getting drunk, a lot of people was upset about that. Yeah. And you kind of got in a little bit out of hectic for that. And because of that, you made another live stream. Okay. So, he's talking about the one live stream I did. Uh, the first time I attempted a, a drunk live stream, I played Slender the Arrival, and it was a lot of fun. Kane was there with me, Red Griffin, and we were just kind of relaxing, having fun. Everybody enjoyed it. And then uh, the second one I did, I, I, I'll i admit, I drank a little bit too much. I drank too much. I had a uh, 750 milliliter bottle of 21% alcohol. I believe it was green apple whiskey. I'm not sure. But I definitely drank the whole bottle in a day, and it got to the point I kept passing out over and over again. And my comments were freaking out. My buddy Kai, not you, but my buddy Malachi, who lives near me, was on the call with me, and he was, like, worried too. And uh, I woke up, and I wanted to continue the live stream. I felt like I was slightly sobering up after my little nap there. And all the fans just kind of, like, started, like, saying some stuff. Like, not really mean things, but it's like they were... I felt like people were worrying a little bit too much about it, and I stopped the live stream, came back, and I guess I was still a bit drunk. And I was kind of, like, crying a bit, saying I was a little upset about how people were looking at things and this and that, and... I just continued on with the live stream. It ended up being... Like, the rest of the live stream was fun, but both of the live streams still exist. They're just private. And I even made an apology video talking about that live stream so that's already been settled as well but okay uh when you had to take a break that you were going to be doing it i don't care what the chat says and play video games but then you calm down afterwards mm -hmm. because like your I said. and moderators were caring for you mm -hmm. especially us as members okay um fast forward a long time now here um you also made a lot of videos so far uh, about how your mental state has going down, but this is one of the reasons why I'm a bit hectic about what you what video you made Which was drawing a vape off the boards and When you threw a vape off the boards, that it was meant thing you was not gonna vape ever again 
But then a couple of days later, you made a video saying, sorry guys, I vaped again, I know what happened. And people called you out on that. I was upset about that too because it didn't make sense why you would throw a vape off the bridge in the first place. If you're ever going to improve on yourself, why do that and make a clickbait video afterwards saying, I don't know why this is happening and stuff. I made a video a little bit ago. I ended up deleting it because people were saying I littered and I kind of did. But I kind of fell back into the cycle of vaping a little bit. I don't do it as bad as I used to. But I have a partial one, and I'm going to finish that, and then I'm going to try again. You know why, and that shouldn't have been an effect on you in the first place. Hello everyone, I'd like to apologize for being absent from the server for quite some time. It's been difficult, I know it's quite obvious it's been difficult from discussions I've had on my YouTube videos, but I'm going to explain my situation and try to be more active. Basically, some really nasty thoughts I've dealt with have been an issue and I just wanted to stay away from the internet to try to push those thoughts away. I've had a bit of a drinking problem within the last couple weeks that I am working on tackling. I quit vaping yesterday, so I'm hoping today will be fresh and I don't crave it as much. Because I hate vaping. I also quit weed yesterday as well to work on my mental health. My mental state isn't fantastic, but I'm getting a higher dosage of medication tomorrow. Prozac, I'm going from 10 milligrams to 20. Hopefully it'll make me feel much better about myself, or hopefully it'll make it easier for me to pull myself together. I fully understand medication can't do all the work, I gotta put effort in as well. And I at least plan on trying my hardest. I missed you all though, and I'll try to be here more. I have a lot of messages to respond to. Okay Kai, I see what you're trying to do here. Now, let's, let's, let's bring that up, right? The vaping thing. You said that uh, I made a video where I threw my vape off the bridge. I remember exactly what I had. I had a strawberry water. No, it was a, uh, I think it was a strawberry apple North with 12,000 hits in it that I bought in April around the time that the full or that the solar eclipse happened. And a lot of people in my chat were basically begging me, please stop vaping, please stop vaping. And I kind of did it out of like slight peer pressure. So I threw my vape off the bridge and then I bought another one a couple days later because I was craving it a lot. My mental state was a lot worse a couple months ago and I vaped a lot. I, to, to be quite honest, I did a stream the other day where I said I was done vaping and I don't really plan on vaping like that. I'm still trying to break the habit, but I've been doing pretty good and my girlfriend can front for me. Yeah. So you don't have to believe it. You don't have to be like, fully on my side about that you can remain skeptical all you like i've really been trying and i'm basically going to quit completely once the time comes basically though a lot of people are saying they were calling me out for that and this and that when it's no one's business i'm 23 years old i'm allowed to do the things that i want to do i'm not trying to be rude to any of the people who've seen my videos or watched my streams or even you because i look at you with respect that is not something you can press me about because that is my decision that is my choice that is my life what i put in my body is my decision if i decide to smoke i'm going to smoke i don't care if it's nick i don't care if it's weed don't get me wrong i'm quitting nick i'm not trying to do it like that anymore weed i'm not quitting weed i said i just needed a small break from it but i kind of need it right now because it really helps with my anxiety that's not going to change so even though you're trying to make it out to be like, I, from how I'm looking at it, it's making it out to be like, you're making me look like I'm lying. Like I'm trying, like I'm lying, but I'm not. I'm desperately trying to quit and I'm really trying to pull my head together and eventually I will succeed. But with how bad my mental state was, I vaped a lot. Anyway. You made an announcement also in Discord about how you're going to not vape, that you will stop doing weed or doing anything else that you'll be coming back to Discord and stuff. Um, but that hasn't been made uh, of a promise that I've seen. And also, the same way with saying this, you uh, made a live stream talking about Mask and how you felt bad about yourself the whole entire time. How Mask... So basically, I knew he was going to bring this up wasn't the way you wanted to be and even though you guys were once a partners um you still wanted to talk to mask but you were also jealous about why you i still really like mast i'm not in a good place though she posted a story on snapchat and i got mad because they never include me in anything and i blew up i wasn't even thinking of what i was saying i hurt them i upset them 
Their friend told me I need to stop, and it hit me. I'm a horrible person. I don't want to be alive anymore. I keep fucking up everything I care about, and I am tired of failing and making mistakes, and I can't seem to break out. You okay. are why everything was happening with another boy, for example. You were jealous because of that. And because of that reason, um, it kind of went you down. It kind of put you down a bit. And you just didn't know what to do anymore. I. All right, Kai. Let me explain the situation to you, buddy. Now, this is something I had a feeling you were going to break up because I knew there was someone going around within the servers spreading information about this. Now I'm going to cut it clean. Mast, if you ever see this video, I still got respect for you and I do not mind being your friend. But I'm saying exactly as things need to be said. So let's start off from the top here. Let's talk about the two incidents where I came off as a bad person towards Mast. The Snapchat incident where I blew up on her, where I basically told my bad, not her, them, they're non-binary. I need to respect that more. But they made a story, basically um, including all their friends, but they never said anything to me, and I just got really jealous. That was my fault. That was bad behavior on my behalf, but I took that, and now I'm learning from it. I'm improving from that. I'm trying to move on from all these things. But everybody constantly keeps bringing it up. Now let's talk about another thing. Mast mentioned that I screamed at her one time. Incorrect. I didn't really scream at her because if I screamed at her, you would know if I screamed at her. But I've sent her voice messages before. Where, or my bad, them. I've sent them voice messages before. And I was basically trying to get their attention. And they would never talk to me. Eventually they responded and I was really emotional that day. And... What happened is I kind of raised my voice a little. I didn't try to yell. I tried to sound serious. Like, I raised my voice like this. I sounded very serious. Like, I'm very upset. I never yelled at Mast like that. Now, let's talk about that again, Kai. Basically, in case you don't know the situation that happened with Mast, is I was sitting on this bed right behind me, and I was eating pizza with my little cousin Ethan and his best friend Brandon. Now, all of a sudden, my current girlfriend, her name is Mandy, she's very lovely, and she gave me a call on Snapchat, and before all this happened, I, I feel like I need to mention this before I mention that, um, I basically begged Mr. Crispy and I begged Paige to apologize the mast because I wanted them to know I was sorry. I keep messing up, I kept fucking up, and I am sorry. I did not mean to act out of character, and I did not mean to act like an asshole. That was on me. So what happened is I asked Paige to apologize for me, and I asked Crispy, and I even sent an apology myself. I just wanted to be quite certain that they would receive the apology. Then all of a sudden, Mandy calls me one day as I'm eating pizza. Huh? Yeah, we were friends at the time. We just became, we got together like a week ago from today, but this was on the 8th of, Ju uh, of July. So M Mandy called me, and she said, hey, Paige wants to talk to you on Discord. It's important. And I was like, okay, um, yeah, let's, let's go see what's up. All of a sudden, um, keep in mind, me and Mandy were not together yet. Um, Paige starts uh, berating me, basically. She sounds really mad, like, why are you being mean the mast? Why are you saying things like you still like her? Do you not know how that makes Ma Mandy feel? Which even Mandy at the time was like, well, I, I, I didn't really care. Like she, like, she didn't care. It wasn't really her business, and I was trying to get over feelings of Mast. And from what... Because here's here's what I was read, right? At the time, uh, Paige was basically telling me that Mast told her that Paige said it came off as if she was making... Or as if Mast was making it out to be like I was borderline abusive. But when I dated Mast, I was really nice to them. I tried calling them every day. I tried to be involved with them. Whenever they needed space, I told them, take as much time as you like. I will not bother you. And that's basically how it went. I was never mean to Mast once within the span of that week that we were together. Now, Mast basically said I was problematic. And I'll admit it. I have some problematic issues that I do got to work on. But those are going to get better as time goes on because I'm tired of playing around and I'm tired of taking shit like this seriously because I understand it's just another roadblock in the road and I need to get over it. But in reality, Mast never said I was borderline abusive. They pretty much said that I was problematic and I was showcasing some problematic behavior. 
So props to Mass, they said what they said. But there was also more to the situation. There was definitely more. Um, basically, there was something that Mass wanted to do in the beginning, when we first started dating, a little bit before, and I wasn't really okay with it. I didn't want to know about it, and the only reason I'm not saying it how it needs to be said exactly is because I don't want to invade Mask's privacy. I don't want people to know that Mast had to go through those things, and knowing Mast was going to go through those things made me very uncomfortable. And if Mast was going to go through them things, I didn't want to be involved. Because that would really hurt me, because I hate it when those things happen to people. Because I want everyone who watches this video to understand if you've been in this situation. You'll know where I'm getting at. Let's just see if you can catch this vague thing I'm going to tell you real quick. You are a person. You are not an object, and you shouldn't be looked at like one. Nothing further on that. But yeah, what happened with Mast is I had a few problematic moments where I blew up, and I definitely had some mental, mental turmoil on my behalf. I'm better now. And I don't plan on, like, holding on to that anymore. It's stupid. It's drama. It's dumb. And I don't want to hear about it anymore. I don't make any promises. I can't figure this out my own self, guys. I still love Mask. I still like Mask. I don't want to hurt their feelings anymore. They're, they're most important to me. And all of this. And even after the end of the live stream, when Mask was showing up in chat, you told Mass that, hey, I want to help you, I want to see if everything goes right, and you insisted to add Mask back on Discord, even though, why didn't you? Did something of a... I did, actually. I can even prove that right now. You said I didn't add Mask... Ugh, that's not that. Oops, my bad. Let's open up Discord for a minute here. As you can see, we got Mask right here. And as you can see... I sent this July 9th, the day after that happened. I said, all right, I know you're sleeping, so I'm going to just say my piece. And then we talked. They pretty much sent me a voice message explaining why they haven't been talking. And I just said, um, I'd prefer not to listen to a voice message that's nearly three minutes. But I ended up doing it anyway. And they said I was explaining why I haven't been talking. And I was like, okay, that's cool. So I said, all right, I'll listen. So I just listened. And then they sent proof of what they said in the voice message. But I didn't want to see that because it was a little triggering for me to see. And I said, I didn't want your proof. And they said, sorry. I said, it's cool. Honestly, I'm sorry for what you're going through. I'm sure it's rough. And I understand why you haven't spoken at all. That's fine. But I have some thoughts I'd like to share if you'd like to hear me out or not. Mass said, yeah, sure. What's up? And then I sent a 7 minute, 50 second voicemail to Mast saying the whole situation. Even Paige told me flat out that was everything that needed to be said. I said everything perfectly down to a T. My girlfriend can vouch for me as well. I said what needed to be said. Basically, and I understand you want to defend Mast. That's cool. Dispute happened where you guys unfriended each other? What no. What is this improving on your... I didn't unfriend her. I blocked her. I blocked... It's them, not her. I blocked them. I blocked them on Snapchat, and they remain blocked to this day. That way, I don't have any, like, bad outbreaks towards them again, because I don't like Snapchat that much as it is. I mainly just use it to talk to my girlfriend and a few friends. Uh, another thing is that, like, I blocked them on Discord because I wanted to push them out of my life, so I didn't make any more fuck-ups. But they said they were sorry, and they said they'd talk to me. So I unblocked them, re-added them, and now we're friends again. I can even prove it right now. Check this out. Right-click, right remove friend that means mast is my friend so kai you're kind of wrong about that yourself jamie and after that live stream you made a whole nother live stream of vibing or doing whatever mm -hmm. acting like nothing has happened and just promoting your music again well actually i even mentioned in that live stream what happened in the live stream before i gave the rundown in the beginning and i said i know you guys didn't want to see that so i'm making another live stream to make up for that once again, dude, you're making it look worse than what it really is. What the heck happened? And the fact is, when you and Mask woke up, you made a video about that. Um, which was, hey guys, I can't believe this. It's not going well for me. I don't understand what's going on. And I understand completely where you're coming from, from all of this drama. It is not great. But, Jamie, you are 23 years old and adult. 
and you have to understand for yourself that this is not the life to go for this is not the life to understand about if you i mean i obviously agree why do you think i'm trying to break out of that mold i haven't been looking at drama i haven't been acknowledging it i haven't really been speaking on it after that whole mass thing happened i dropped it and moved on and you made this video yesterday from the time I'm currently recording my reaction to what you're saying and responding to you, and you're just bringing it back up. You want to get improve on yourself and get to where you want to be? Yeah. And stop complaining about FedEx or any, any other of the sorts of that? Then find a job, get a... Well, sucks, man, because I'm actually going back to FedEx after I have my surgery. Because I need to save up so I can make it to BabsCon next year and I can do more things license and go just go understand that foundation that's how i'm not getting my license yet because i need to work on my issues first before i get my license or you improve because if you don't improve then what is the point of trying in the first place then well that goes both ways you can understand yourself you can improve on yourself because of that reason but also, not only that, not only that, your worm server, it's died. It's not at 1,050 members anymore. It is at 800 or 900. Um, I mean, it's still very active every single day. There's still a bunch of people who talk in it. I still go into stream sometime, and sometimes people will join it. So I wouldn't say it's dead. I think you're overreacting on that. Because... For one theory, I and me and Goku leave because we will pop you in that server. Um, and so, why is that the case? Well, there was drama that you haven't fixed or one of your moderators or admins hasn't fixed. Like what? For example, all of this craziness that I'm seeing right now is still probably happening. No. Telling people that, hey, you should not self-promote. Hey, it's, uh, I'm actually it's supposed to be in self-promotion, not in survey invite. Which, honestly, that's what everyone else does. To promote their server in there as moderators. Which I, I honestly don't, I don't understand why. And so, and then also ones like, uh, pictures that someone made about how you, um, like, weird the pixel can be and how it's not as appropriate for the server than it actually should be. Um, which, that was disputed, that was fine. And then, some people complaining about choicing arts and stuff, which also, that was disputed, but could be fine too. Mm -hmm. Um, but a lot of things also come to the point where drama would necessarily be happening because of a lot of people not liking about how things were made. I was told, which I'm not going to send names or send screenshots, that's for you all to decide. Because I still have them if you want to talk about it, Jamie, if you want to, with me. How there was a person talking to me about this wedding, that this wedding was absolutely garbage. I don't know why. I don't understand why you would want to try to do it. Well, not garbage, but why would you decide to do it? And was the only person talking in chat, by the way. And I asked them, why are you acting like this? What should I do to improve myself? That's for me to decide. So how is it for me to decide if you're the only one talking and no one else is having the problem? I don't understand that, and I never will understand that. So, I can turn on my day making the wedding because it was the most important with me and, and my partner at one time. And that was my downfall because I got demoted, possibly for that reason. So, I decided that it was a, it was good at the day to leave the server for a bit, but I'm not going to come back to that server after what's been happening. That's fine. For you, you don't Jamie, have to. You gotten worse for yourself. You told me in uh, Messenger that you won't be joining any of my servers. When I try to text you back about, hey, it's whatever and stuff, you haven't even read my message. And you just didn't want to talk to us afterward. Well, I don't mind talking to you guys. The only reason I'm not joining servers is because I'm in too many. I'm, well, I'm not in too many, but I'm in quite a few as it is. And I already don't like being a part of a lot of servers. So I didn't want to add to it. I just don't like having all those notifications. I don't like this and that. I don't mind if you guys talk to me, but... It, I could say the same thing for you. You're saying, I'm not reaching out. I'm not talking to you guys. Have either of you done the same? I don't think so. That's... Well, that's fine. But I still want to make this video because I think it's important for me to make this video. Because it shows how things can go. How things...
Okay. Now that's a little weird to me. It's important to you to make a video about someone who you said doesn't talk to you anymore. Like I said, if you guys tried to talk to me, hell, if you guys want me to reach out to you, I'll do it right now. Hell, I'll, I just got to like put my SIM card on my other phone. I'll text you on Messenger right now. That's fine. But don't say I'm purposefully, don't make it out to be like I'm purposefully avoiding you just because you left my server. One, I just don't like being in a shit ton of servers. I've, I've already just mentioned that. Two, you say, I haven't reached out to you, but I haven't gotten a message from you or your partner since around the same time. I have not heard from either of you. And out of nowhere, you just make a video called James Eli, and you try to call me out for these things. And I understand some of them, you, you want me to like speak on them. You want me to understand that I'm going down a path that's a bit more dark than bright. And that's why I'm trying to get myself out of there. I'm trying to put my pieces back together. But it's like, I don't think this video was necessary to make, Kai. You could have confronted me about all these problems, but you wanted to make it a public issue. You wanted to make it something where I feel like I had to respond to in order to get my points across, just like you're trying to get yours. This can distinguish. All I'm asking is for you to improve. Nothing more than that. And I think you can improve. I think you can. We're just hoping it's a good way of improving. And to take breaks, to get your mental health right. I'm sorry, dude. Didn't earlier you say I stopped making as many videos, my videos have slowed down, everything has slowed down, and you said, why is that? And now you're telling me to take breaks too? I don't understand, man. That's that's a little weird. I'm sorry, dude. That's a little... Yeah. And then whenever you come back, they're like, oh, go, go, just go take a break. Like, yeah. Like, come on, man. Come on. I got respect for you, bro. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm sorry, Kai. I, I understand it. I get it. I just feel like you wanted to make it a public issue. And I think you knew I was going to respond to this. I think you knew because once again, I don't ignore you, Kai. I don't not like you. You're still my friend. We just haven't spoken in a minute. I've been working on my issues. Isn't that what you'd want from me? If you want to improve, just do better. I mean, I'll give him that. He wants me to do better. That's cool. That's fine. I respect that. And I'm going to do better. I'm going to improve myself. I'm going to be doing a lot better. The future is looking bright. I just had some very dark moments this year. The mask thing, that's dead. That's over. I'm not bringing it up anymore. I'm not talking about it. I don't care. The thing about me being drunk on streams, I don't care. Those two streams are privated forever. They're never being released. It was a bad moment, and I even made an open apology video for it. I'll even show you the video right now. So let me pull that up real quick. I'm not doing any cuts here. You guys are seeing me go through the videos, right? So if we scroll down here, and we scroll down to about January through February, right? Give me a second. How are we all today? There we go. Look at that. Five months ago, my apology explaining myself. Let's see what I say in this video. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is an unfortunate video to make, but I feel like it needs to be discussed upon this channel. Last night, around midnight through, or 11 through midnight something my time, because I live in Ohio in the U.S., I did a live stream where I decided to drink on stream and play Slender D Arrival and other games and just uh -huh. have some fun. Yep. Now, that stream had a lot of turns and uh, corners that really changed things up. It started off fun. I wasn't too drunk in the beginning, and man, it really hit like a truck later on. Basically, there was a point where I kept laying my head down, mm -hmm. and I kept taking naps. Yep. And there was a point I was out for about 15 minutes straight. Yep. Some people thought it was funny. Some people looked at it like I had a genuine problem. I noticed uh, some people told me that 
that, that I've been drunk in multiple videos. There's a few people who've said that. And I've been drunken too. I'm not a drinker. I don't have an alcohol addiction or a, a, a usage problem. Nope. I just wanted to drink to have a little bit of fun. And I did. It's not something I do often. And I did apologize for it. A lot of people even looked at the video and a lot of comments were very forgiving and understanding. It's like, I get it, man. I get the problems might be a bigger deal to you. But going forward, as of July 18th, 2024, at 8.35 p.m., which is the current time I'm speaking this, I want to move on from all of that. I don't want to remember that shit. I don't want to deal with the mask situation anymore. I don't want to deal with that situation where I was drunk. I don't want to deal with that situation where I'd have mental breakdowns and say things in the server like, I don't want to be alive anymore, and I'd, like, panic and freak out. I don't want to be like that anymore. And I'm not. So, Kai, I'm going to be honest with you. A few of the points he brought up, it came, it came off like you were coming at me. And in a way, I feel like I, pro I probably deserve it for some of the things that I've done. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. He also brought up the videos where I brought up my mental health. Like, if we go to my channel, right? Like, uh... Uh, the struggle is real. Yep. Or, um, why I haven't been consistent on YouTube. Or, I'm miserable. Or, a little update video. Or, all these videos where I talk about my mental state. Truth is, I want to delete those because I feel like I don't feel that way anymore. I don't. So, Kai, I love you, man. You're a great dude. You've always been nice to me. You've always been really, really kind to me respectful you don't have to come in my server you don't have to be in my server but if you want to talk to me just send me a message my guy i'm not abandoning you or chase or anyone i love you guys like you guys are my friends so if you guys really wanted to talk just hit me up i'm sorry i don't really talk a lot on messenger anymore and i never got any notice from discord because i didn't know if you guys were still my friends i didn't know if you guys unfriended me or not but anyway, that's that's the end of this. I responded to Kai. I get it. I, I know why he brought it up. I just feel like it didn't need to be public. And now it kind of is. Now it kind of is. So, Kai, honestly, dude, I love you. You're a really great dude. And I understand you want me to just get better. I'm going to get better. I, I'm working on it. I'm really, really trying to work on it, honestly. But this didn't need to be public, man. This didn't need to be spoken on. If you really wanted me to, like, talk with you about it, I could have talked with you about it. I already pretty much told everyone I'm done with the mass situation. I told everyone that drunk stuff that happened, I'm moving on from it. I want to delete all the videos where I talked about my mental state because I feel like it's just filler. It's just not necessary. But, yeah. I wanted to respond to Kai. I wanted this to make sure this video was just kind of, like, made and that everything's kind of spoken on. I gave my reasons why I don't have a license. He kind of made it like seem like it was a bad thing, but it's really not. It's really not. I already explained that. But yeah, that, that that's basically my reasoning for everything here. I think I'm done with this. I think this was just... Huh. It was just something, man. So thanks for watching. Uh, don't hate on Kai. He's still a good friend of mine. He's still my dude. It's just like... I don't even know what to say. I don't even know how to feel about it. So, I'm ending the video here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.